Hi, this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com. Last week we talked about shift registers and we were talking about output shift registers. We used the 74HC595 and using three data lines from the Arduino we were able to control eight LEDs. This week we're talking about input shift registers and we've got a CD4021 and we have eight switches which are connected to pull down resistors and they are connected to the shift register using three data lines the blue, the green, and the yellow and then positive and negative. The red is plus five volts and the uh, black is ground. And when we push any one of these buttons on the shift register board you'll see a change in the serial monitor. Now when we press button number one we get a one. When we press button number two we get a one zero. When we press button number three we get a one 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 zero zero and so on. Pin button four, button five, button six, button seven, and button eight. And in your code you can look for these sequences, do a case statement, and then do various things based on which button was pressed. So again, it's a great way to get additional inputs when you're running low on inputs on the Arduino and you can daisy chain these shift registers so that you could have 8, 16, 24, 32 just keep m multiples of 8 um, you can keep daisy chaining these shift, shift registers and have basically as many uh, inputs as you need or want so thank you for watching and this has been our demonstration of an input shift register. The next tutorial will be a combination input output register with 16 ports and they can be used either as inputs, outputs, uh, a combination thereof, 8 inputs and 8 outputs, all, eight, all 16 inputs or all 16 outputs with one chip. And it's an I2C chip so you could have many of these chips uh, addressable over the I2C uh, channel up to 64 um, actually I believe it's 128 uh, inputs but I'll, we'll get more into that in the next uh, tutorial thank you for watching Steve Spence from ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com